Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to configure a WebSphere application server network deployment cell topologies with Docker containers running in multiple hosts using Docker Overlay Network. Let us start the demo by launching the Docker Quick Start Terminal. So now we will be creating multiple virtual machines in which we will be running different WebSphere application server components. Let us create a VM for Keystore. Docker machine create minus D virtual box. So we are going to create a virtual box and with the name Keystore. The virtual box Keystore has been successfully created. Now let us start a container in that. Docker. So we are going to make use of the Keystore config. So Docker machine config then key store then we are going to run this container minus d in the background then minus p port association and then we are going to specify the host name that is console and then we are going to specify the image name program slash console then we will specify the option minus server minus boot Since the virtual box is new, it doesn't have the console image. So it has been successfully pulled from the Docker hub. Let us point Docker to talk to this virtual box. Docker machine env then keystore. Now let us create a new virtual box which points to the keystore. The virtual box is getting created. The virtual box VM1 has been created successfully. Now let us create another virtual box VM2. The virtual box VM2 also has been created successfully. Let us create one more VM. VM3. Virtual box VM3 also has been created successfully. Now we will make the docker point to the virtual machine. Docker machine env and then vm1. Now let us create an overlay network. Docker network create minus d overlay will give the network name as network1. The overlay network has been successfully created. Let us confirm that. Docker network ls. So here we could see a new overlay network, network 1. We will check the images available in the VM1. Since it is a new virtual machine, there are no images available. We are going to make use of the images which I have already built for deployment manager, custom node profile and the application server node profile. Refer to my video on building WebSphere application server network deployment docker images for building those images. I have currently saved those images so I am going to load those images. So in the VM1 I am just going to start only the deployment manager. So let me go and load my images. So here I have all the three images but in VM1 I am going to load only the deployment manager image. Docker load minus i dmg the image has been successfully loaded. Let us confirm that. Docker images. So we could clearly see the dmanager image has been successfully loaded. So let us start the deployment manager container. Docker run. I'm going to name, give the name of the container as dmanager and the host name also is the same. And then I am going to specify the network which is equal to network 1 the overlay network then I'm going to specify the port to access the admin console then I'm going to run this container in the background so minus D and then the image name DMGR. so now let us review the logs docker logs save equal to all to give the name of the container so here we could see 
the deployment manager is going to come up so in the meantime let us load the images in the other two virtual machines so let me start two more terminals to this well docker machine env and then we will point to the vm2 so now let us check for the images availability in the vm2 docker images so since it is a new vm there are no images available so let us go and load the images as we did in the vm1 So in this we are going to load both the custom and the app server image. So docker load minus i custom dot dot. Let us open another terminal and access the VM3. So here again we'll ensure this docker points to here. VM3. So we'll check for the images, new VM, no images. So now again, how we did the other two VMs, we will load the images. So here again, we will be loading both the custom and app server images. So first let's load the app server image, docker load minus i. So while well, the image is getting loaded, so let us go and check whether the deployment manager has been started. So it is coming up. So we'll see whether the custom uh, is loaded. So that image has been successfully loaded. So let's confirm that Docker images. So we could see the successful loading of custom image. Now let us load the app server image. Docker load minus i app server dot manager has been successfully started in vm1 now let us go and check the vm3 where the app server has been successfully loaded so now let us load the custom image let's go back to vm2 here again we could see the app server image is also successfully loaded let's confirm that docker image so here we could see we have the custom and app server images available in vm2 now let us start the custom container docker run connect name we will give the name of the container as custom1 so host name also custom1 and then we will specify the network so both the things belong to the same network that the network1 and then we will specify using the environment variable the node name is a node name equal to custom node 0 1 and then we will be specifying the that the container will be running in the background using minus d and then the image name that is the custom click enter so the container has been successfully started so let us review the logs docker logs save tail equal to all and then the name of the container which is custom one so we could see here the process of filtration has been started so here also again we have seen the custom image also has been loaded so let's confirm that docker images so we could see both the custom and the app server images has been successfully loaded the node has been successfully federated to the deployment manager and it has been renamed and the node agent has been successfully started now let us go and start a, another custom node in vm3 docker run name will give the name as custom2 then host also host name also as custom2 then we will specify they are part of the same network and then we will give the environment variable and change the node name give the option for changing the node name node name equal to custom node 02 and then we will say this container is going to run in the background and then the image name which is the custom so the container has been successfully started. Let's review the logs. Custom 2. 
so we could see the filtration process has been started the node has been successfully renamed from custom node to custom node 02 and the node agent has been started successfully okay so now let us go and launch another container app server container in the vm2 docker run let's give the name as server1 the host name also same server1 then we will specify both belong to the same network network1 and then again we will be using an environment variable to specify the name of the node node name equal to server node 0 1 and then we will specify port 9081 to 9080 this is where we will be accessing our applications then we will say it's going to run in the background and then the image name app server so the app server 1 container has been successfully started so let's verify that we are reviewing the logs tail equal to all and then server 1 the host name has been updated and the node has been successfully federated to the deployment manager and the node agent is coming up the node has been successfully renamed from server node to server node 01 and the node agent and the application server has been started successfully now let us create an app server container in the vm3 docker run let's give the name as server 2 then hostname also seems server 2 and then we will specify all belongs to the same network network 1 then we'll use the environment variable to specify the node name equal to server node 0 2 and then we will be specifying the port number 9082 to 9080 and then we'll say this container will run in the background and then the image name app server the container has been successfully started let's do the logs docker logs as f tail equal to all then server 2 the node has been successfully renamed from server node to server node 02 and the node agent has been successfully started and the server is getting started and the server has been successfully started now let us check the IP address of the VM1 where the admin console is running. Docker machine IP VM1. So the IP address is 192.168.99.105. This is the IP address we will be using to access the admin console. Now let us launch the web browser and access the admin console. HTTP. 192.168.99.105 and the port number is 9060 and we could see the admin console has been launched successfully let us go and review the configuration go to the nodes here we could clearly see the nodes which has been created in multiple vms has been successfully federated to the deployment manager so as part of this demo we have seen how to configure WebSphere application server, network deployment, Docker containers running in multiple hosts using the Docker overlay network. Thanks for watching the demo.